Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for coming back today. A little video that we want to share, especially with the cat owners. Uh, as you guys have seen, uh, this is the cat tree that we have for our cats. We have two cats. There's Luna and Miko, I can see. Um, we in also, the house. In he's, the house. he's in the house. Oh, I can tell, look, it's all messed up. There he is. <laughs> if you want to find Miko, see where the mess is. There he is. Uh, and of course we've had our, um, very, very beloved Bagheera that we lost. But anyway, yeah, so two cats and, um, Mike, you came up with this cat tree a couple yeah. of years ago, I think. Yeah, we originally, the very first one we had was from the same brand, but was a lot lower. Like oh, this. yeah. Yeah, this was it just came up. True, sure, yeah. Uh, so, but then it didn't have many places that we can uh, hang out. No. So we've had that, and then we switched to this one. We switched to this one, yeah. but we also had something in between that was much higher. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. No, what we did is we we got a, a cheaper one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which was not that good. No, I think we got them El Cheapo because um, we were looking for something that would challenge them even more. Yeah. I think that's one of and the reasons why nice, we came out. It looked nice on the picture, but when we, we got it and sent out of the box, it was flimsy yeah it was, it was um, terrible there were so many accessories that were not even practical only for decoration like little stair and as if cats can walk stairs so yeah. it was weird it was weird but it was high and we thought that's maybe nice for them to climb up and you know challenge them more but it turned out to be you know just a joke so guys really sometimes you can be impressed by a design because it looks complex but then when you get it and you unbox it it's just you know, the old saying, less is more, I think is still valid. Yeah. So, and then we switched to this one. Yeah. Which is a good thing because now we have this, uh, this thing where Luna can't eat. Yeah. <laughs> so she needs to step up. She needs to, to, to find something to step up onto the. Uh, yeah. To uh, go from cover. here as a, from here to. Yeah. So this is the exact same and good height. True. We need to. Uh, we need to have. If you guys haven't seen this, we made a video about this. How can you separate the food of two cats that keep fighting over food? This is one solution if you're living in a small apartment. Go watch the video. Sick plug. <laughs> Sick, plug. Sick plug. Okay. Yeah. So this one we've had for two years. Yeah, longer. I think. Longer. Yeah. You can tell. It's Look, been put to good use. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, I mean, even this little fluff, fluff ball wasn't spared in the fight. So um, this doesn't come with it. This is just how it is. See, this is this is how it comes with something this. We put up there. This is something that we come up uh, came up with because uh, you know this 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 does not provide like coziness and warmth. So uh, we found this really nice basket. It's really soft, cozy, fluffy, and all that warm. It's and one of the very the cheapest. This one is yeah. one of the cheapest. Yeah, you can get. Yeah, for some some reason, and that's my opinion, I don't know how Mike thinks about it, there are not so many options you can choose from when it comes to big baskets for cats. No. Yeah. And, and I think this one is, is sold as being a dog. A dog, uh, yeah, I was going to say. So for some crazy reason, they don't do that. While cats are, you know, social animals, they always like to sleep together. No matter how much they fight, you know, sooner or later, they will end up squeezing and, uh, you know, wrestling in, in each other's places. So this is how we solved it. So instead of just keeping it as is, we did this contraption right here, see? And it works. It works with a little of this elastic that you see here. And um, so, uh, why am I showing you this? Because this is a good option, guys. This is a really good option if you have two cats. It's awesome. One can be here in this little home that we made here. Usually it's more tied up, but this is what Miko does, as I just told you. So one can be here, and I think it will work even for three cats. One can sleep there, or here, or here. So. Technically, there is place for four cats. One in this little house, one right there, one right here, 
and then one on top. But I'm saying that it's ideal if you have two cats because if you do what we did with this big basket, you know, they'll end up here together. <laughs> but uh, technically, this can work for four cats, up to four cats. Yeah, it can. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, at some point, cats always like to go inside wherever they see. So, or, you know, be surrounded by like this little, little um, basket wand. They like to be against something or inside something. So sooner or later, they will try to find where they can squeeze themselves in. So that's why I'm saying it's ideal for two cats. Because what they now do, Luna and Miko, usually at night, they're either here together. And during the day, especially now in winter, they're usually uh, together in this little house right here. So, and then they have these scratch poles, which they never use. They have one scratch uh, plateau right here that they, they do use. Look, Miko was going to demonstrate. No. And then, yeah, so they do this. They, they do use this and they use this. Uh, they usually stand here when they're watching us, when we're eating or watching a movie. Sometimes they would just stand there and watch us or stand there. So they, I can honestly say that they use every part of this. And then with the bigger one that they, we had, the bigger country that we had, they, they weren't using not even 50% of it because, you know, it was just the way it was set up. It was just not inviting for cats to use it. It was just, it was terrible. No, it was a terrible thing. So don't exaggerate. Don't overdo it. Don't go over the top with your cat tree. Keep it as simple as, uh, as possible. And as soon as it, as long as it's practical for your cats. And um, this is something, I don't know if you have it in your country. We're not sponsored, but we got this from, from this brand. I think, is this, the, this is the brand, yeah. EBI. EBI, yeah, Lifestyle for Pets. It's the brand. There you I have it. I have to say that we like it because if you look at cat trees in general, yeah, they are mostly those horrible gray colors, or they're white. Yeah, true, true. Depressing or, colors. And, yeah, but I, yeah, don't really like the looks of them at all. And this one is uh, is beautiful because it has these. Past um, how do you call them? Pasta. This is now. This is water lily leaf. Okay. And it's. Yeah. It's very soft and I must say Miko when he's frustrated because he doesn't get what he wants at certain times uh, He gets sometimes frustrated and start nibbling this uh, But that's that's only incidental the, the, You know, it's something that doesn't happen all the time only every now and then but look at this mic I wonder what was ha supposed to happen if we were to cut it like they told us cut open to release Meowers Rex? <laughs> I think it's just just a uh, little joke. Okay, Meowers Rex. Okay, I can appreciate the joke. Um, so it's all it's all held together by these little poles. See? Yeah. We were thinking initially, at least I was at some point, and I think Mike did too, whether it's possible to buy just the elements and uh, you renew them. You know, unscrew them from these poles and then renew them. But then, you know, this is such a good price that honestly, you know, if you're gonna go through that trouble, you could, you might as well just put it away all together and just get a new one. And that's what we did. But I mean, it is, it, it could be done. I don't know if they sell these uh, elements, um, you know, individually. A lot of I'm people not really make sure. them ourselves. Make them uh, themselves. Yeah, I think that's a good thing. That would be a nice challenge, yeah. yeah. But then you have to have a little space that you can use as a workshop. Yeah, true. So other than that. So guys, um, I'm just going to put it together. And the end result will be what you already see here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. So there's no need to show you the end result. Uh, but this is a video to tell you that if you happen to be in Holland or even in Europe, and maybe they have this brand where you are, get this, guys. This is, re oh, look, it's only in Europe. But I mean, what's only in Europe nowadays? Me and Mike sometimes order stuff from the US, from the UK. Although now because of the COVID thing, the COVID thing and the whole 
tax thing and customs and it's almost impossible to do. It's not fun anymore. Um, but if you can find this, whatever you are, just get it, especially if you have two cats. And that's the message of this video. Get this, you guys. It's a nice cat tree and it works and cat do love it. Anything to add to that, Mike? No. That was it? Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Let's see what Miku's doing. Oh. Where is Miko? Oh, there he is. <laughs> there is crazy Miko. There is naughty Miko. He's so naughty. Naughty all the time. Look, he's gonna go for my hand. He's gonna go for my hand. <laughs> Luna wants to get in there too. So guys, you're moving. You're moving to a new home. Did you think about your new curtains and all that? Oh, look at that. See? Well, Luna showed there you. There he goes. There he goes, but he's not. Hey, 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 hey. He's not supposed to go all the way up there. Stop. Stop trying. in the name of love. He keeps trying. Keeps trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He keeps trying. He's so stubborn and hard-headed. All right, guys. See you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Dus dan met het balletje daar naartoe. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, look at this. This is how much they love it. See? Mike is still putting it together. And Luna just cannot wait. So, she got in there. That's so cute. That is so sweet. Luna! Luna! That is so cute. That's how much they love it. See? <laughs> so guys, maybe one last shot, shot to show you how it is before we jazz it up. See, this is this is how it comes if you don't do anything with it, if you don't add anything to it. Yeah, and then we have one extra pillow, and this is for in the house. In the house. <laughs> in the house. Oh no, because we do the, uh, the we we do the 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 blanket. The blanket right? Yeah, we give them a blanket. We just okay. fold it a couple of times and do it in there. So nice okay. and soft. Well, let's remove this. Time. So this but, is what it looks like when it's completely yeah. set up. See, this is it. All right, that was it. Nice and fresh. They can now start trashing it yeah. again from scratch. Get it? Trash it from scratch.